I don't know these are gentle pigs. And my mission and the purpose of today's video is to settle an age-old dispute between the good folk of Cornwall and the almost as good folk of Devon. Green teas. Who's right? Stick around. Let's get to the bottom of this. Right, before we get into the nitty, nitty gritty, just want a quick biker's nod to Nigel Potter, because I miss the old bugger. And also to Howie702, a biker's nod to you. After all, it was after a comment he made on my last video regarding green teas that's triggered this. Now he claimed all cream teas taste the same. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, first of all I should perhaps explain in case those of you that aren't of this part of the world don't get it. Basically a Cornish cream tea and a Devonish cream tea are made up of the same ingredients. Three simple ingredients. Scones, or scones, let's not get into that one today. Jam and cream. And the, the troubles only arise in the method. Now the Cornish way to make a cream tea is you put the, put the jam on the scone and you put the cream on top. Now Devon, put the cream on first <laughs> and then a splodge of jam on top of that. Now county rivalry isn't exclusive to Cornwall and Devon of course. I mean you have Lancashire and Yorkshire, they can't agree on what colour a row should be. Cambridgeshire and Oxfordshire, they race a sliver of fiberglass up a river annually to decide who has the, the poshest school. And there must be many examples across the nation where the inhabitants of adjoining counties feel they have some sense of superiority over their neighbours. Now with Cornwall and Devon, in most instances, Cornwall wins hands down. I mean you just got to look at the beaches. And even the, the coat of arms, where Cornwall's, Cornwall's motto is um, one and all, which gives you a, a deep sense of camaraderie. It's a good feeling. Devon's, Devon's motto is by divine aid. Huh? What? Now of course the best way to put this to the test is to go to some fine establishment in each county that serves such delicacies and decide from there. But of course that's not an option at the moment. Therefore, I have brought all the necessary ingredients and I shall prepare and eat a cream tea in each county and give you my completely unbiased <laughs> opinion of which one's best. Yes, ladies and gentle pigs, the subject of cream teas is one I'm willing to explore. I'll put in the time, the effort and the research. The things I do for you. Okay, this is Netherbridge and it spans 
the River Tamar, which is a natural border between Devon and Cornwall. So over here we have Cornwall. Beautiful. And over there's Devon, it's probably raining over there. Anyway, I figured this was a good place to do the test. I'm going to prepare my cream teas here in the middle. Then we're going to eat one in Cornwall, go all the way to Devon and try theirs. <laughs> So, here we go. Cornish. <laughs> Devonish. So here we go. All the way to sunny Cornwall. Yes, I think I'm in heaven. Not the biggest cream tea, I must admit. But incredibly tasty, delicious. Okay, let's make our long trek back to Devon. A sip of tea on the way. There we go. Look at that. Even the flies don't like Devons. Well, here we are. Devon. It's actually quite nice here. And not raining. Peculiar. Okay, here goes. Wish me luck. Devon's version of a cream tea. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Well, well, I'll be damned. I can't believe it. Howie was right. It's bloody delicious. Oh. Nice. I'm so happy. I'm almost bursting with a sense of achievement. At last, we can be friends. We can build bridges like this one. Well, probably more like that one, concrete and steel. And when the millions realize what's happened here, Perhaps too they can be friends with their neighbours and see past the differences. I could be single-handedly responsible for world peace. Would you believe it? Both equally delicious. Okay. Now 
I'm sure you all realise that was tongue in cheek, just a bit of fun. I actually live probably about three minutes drive from the Cornwall Devon border and I've got friends on both sides and I've got to tell you my friends from the Devon side of the border are almost as nice as the Cornish <laughs> now both counties are absolutely beautiful and have so much to offer now something I normally do at the start of my videos is recommend another channel and this time I'd like to recommend, recommend a channel called Paddy Outback I always wonder how people come up with their channel names anyway he's an Irish guy living in Australia his videos are great fun can also be very informative really interesting the uh, latest one I watched was forgive me if the title isn't exactly right but it was man rides through sketchy illegal dump and I actually barely laughed at one point limited areas so I'll put a link up there anyway to Paddy Outback And I hope you enjoyed our little trip out today. That's all from me. So thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. Ciao for now. Bye bye.